Welcome to When Life Gets Strange, tips for loving your perfectly imperfect military and everyday life. Let me introduce you to my wife and your host, Maria Strange. We have been married for over 20 years, over 17 years in the Army, and she is the mother to our six children, and we are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. As a certified life coach, Maria's goal is to help you thrive and love your perfectly imperfect military and everyday life. Are you ready? Hello, my beautiful Army wives. How's everybody doing today? So if you hear puppies in the background, they're about six weeks old now. They'll be going to their forever homes in a couple of weeks. They're getting kind of loud. So if you hear them, just know that's what it is. They're just fine. They're just kind of barky and loud at times. And I've been listening to them as I've been getting ready to record this podcast. So hopefully my girls are playing with them and keeping them a little bit on the quieter side for a few minutes, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, welcome to episode 20 of When Life Gets Strange. Today, we're going to be talking about burnout. But first, I wanted to ask you, are you enjoying this podcast? Are you finding it helpful? If so, would you please like it? Will you share it with others? That's how we get more good out in the world is by finding things that we like and love and being willing to share it. All right on to today's podcast. Today, we're talking about burnout. Burnout is a state of emotional, physical, and mental exhaustion caused by excessive and prolonged stress. Hello, deployments, TDYs, PCSs, military living at its finest, right? I'm, I'm kidding, kind of. But with military life, it can be kind of stressful at times. And so we need to watch for burnout. But what if I told you that burnout is a feeling, All right? We believe that we feel it but really it's more of a result of our thinking, what we're thinking. What if you could lessen the burnout by changing your thinking? You'd want to do it, right? All right, so let me give you an example from my own life. During our last deployment, we had a lot of things happen and one of them, our freezer went out and it was so stressful and I thought, ah, another thing that I have to take care of. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to fix a broken freezer. What in the world am I going to do? And I just sat there and I spun an overwhelm and uncertainty. And I thought I should know what to do. I should have, I should know who to call. Why don't I know these things? But I didn't. And after taking a few deep breaths and calming down and I thought, oh, I know people who've lived here forever. Let me call them and see what they know. Somebody who's older and wiser or just has been longer, right? And so I called my friend and she's like, yeah, I know the number to repairman. And I called him and he was able to come out. He looked at it and he knew what the problem was. He was able to rig it and he had it, got it working until the part came in. I didn't have to move everything out of my freezer. Fast forward a year and a half later. And guess what happened the other day? My husband's on leave. We're home and we're supposed to be doing all these fun things and my freezer could go out in the morning and there was just water everywhere. It wasn't working again. And my thought this time was, ah, I know what to do. I can call this guy. But as you know, we opened the freezer and things were actually getting really soft. That didn't happen the last time because the last time was in the middle of winter and right now it's summer. And so I knew I needed to move everything. And I have my fridge in the house that has a nice big freezer in it. And we don't stuff it full. I actually just like to put the things in it that I'm using for the week. And then we have an outside freezer. Right now, my 19 year old said he kind of stores his food in it, or I joke that it's my ice cream freezer, but it's just there. So we have these two freezers that have things in them, but they're not super full. So we were able to move things and we got everything squared away. And my husband's like, okay, so the guy fixed the thermometer a year and a half ago. Let's just let this freezer totally defrost and see what happens. So we shut it off with everything out of it. We let it totally defrost. And then we turned it back on and it works. There was ice blocking the thermostat. But do you know what was different? My brain was like, ah, I know how to handle this. I didn't make it a big deal. And because I didn't make it a big deal in my thoughts, it wasn't. It was totally able to handle it. But can you see how the first time I was making it worse by believing that it was too much? The 
But this time, because I was like, I know what to do. It motivated me and we just moved along the process. Now, I still got to put all the food back in it. I haven't done that yet, but that's totally okay. As I need room in my freezer or I'm like, oh, what do I want? I tend to move things back out to it. Okay, but I know what you're thinking, but I do have too many things to do. This is too hard for me. I can't help but feeling the burnt out. I am burnt out. All right. Well, let's let's talk about this a little bit. What are, how do you feel when it's the beginning of a season and your child's either, you know, your child gets to play soccer or start dance or football and you're excited or they're in a school play and they're staying and doing practices and rehearsals and it's exciting and they're exciting or you get a new job or you've been at your duty station and you're ready to move and you're all excited. Like oh, we get to go to this new place <coughs> until one day your thinking changes. And you start to think, oh, this move is too hard. My husband should not be deployed. I don't want to drive these kids to soccer by myself again. I don't want to cook dinner. I don't want to have to do it all. I can't be everywhere at once. Life is just too hard. Okay, hold on. Slow down just a little bit. Can you see that those are some absolutes? Absolutes that you're thinking that might be creating burnout for you? Actions don't create the burnout. It is our thinking about all of it. And what I've learned to do is to question my absolute thinking. Do I have to do it all? Maybe. Could my brain be wrong? Where in my life is it not all on me? Is what I'm thinking true? Do I have to drive to soccer, to dance again? Do I have to take my kids to school? No, I don't have to do any of it. I'm choosing it. And so then I get to work and I start answering my question. Where is my life not all on me? Well, guess what? I don't have to make the paycheck. Spencer does that. He's great at making money and providing for our family. Check the box there. Thanks, babe. I don't have to milk the cow for the cereal or for the ice cream or the um, the smoothies that we make. I don't have to do that. I have. I have milked a cow. It's a lot of hard work, but I don't have to. I don't have to grow the food that we eat. I grow some of it. I have a garden, but even that I do with my friend. I don't even have to go grocery shopping. Did you know Walmart pickup is glorious? With Instacart, they'll bring their groceries right to your door. Amazon, you could get fast food. You could order pizza. You could order any food. You have so many options. I can carpool. My kids don't have to play that sport or be in the school play. I could homeschool or not. What I'm showing you is we have so many options. I have friends who are willing to help me out. When I get, when I want to look for the proof that my brain is wrong about it, I can do it. Try it out. Where might your brain be wrong too? Where might you might where might you be thinking in absolutes where you don't need to? So that's why we're feeling burnt out is because of having the thoughts that this is all on me. I have to do it all. We believe it shouldn't be this way. Maybe you believe in my husband shouldn't have to go to the field. I shouldn't have to drive my children to their activities. I shouldn't have to cook dinner. When this happens and we're in what we should or shouldn't have to do, we're so busy avoiding our feelings that we create burnout. But what if we just allowed those feelings? I know when I take the time to process my feelings, they go away a lot quicker. Did you know an emotion, a feeling, actually only lasts about 90 seconds? Now, that feeling might come back. And I'm not saying that it's enjoyable processing those negative feelings, but it takes a lot less energy and a lot less mind work than resisting it. When I allow my feelings, I stop reacting and I start acting on purpose. Maybe I'm feeling overwhelmed and I'm like, oh yeah, this is the part of the day where I feel overwhelmed. 
or when Spencer's gone and I'm in bed at night, I'm like, this is the time of day when I really miss Spencer and I just miss him. Or when I have to take my kids to another activity, when I take my kids to another activity, did you notice I started to say when I have to, when I'm choosing to, I'm like, oh, this is the activity that I'm choosing to take them to. I don't have to take them. I want to take them because I want them to do those activities. When I start to think this is all too hard, I take a few deep breaths. I allow it. And I just tell myself, this is a part of the day where everything feels hard and heavy. And my body might construct up a little bit, but it's going to be okay because I can handle any emotion and I don't have to avoid it. And neither do you. Burnout so often comes from thinking that we have to be more than we are, that we have to prove ourselves worthy to ourselves, to our spouse, to our in-laws, to our siblings. I find that one for me is a big one. Even though they're not even around me, I still kind of want to prove myself to them. I'm the youngest, the little girl, the little sister. And I find myself at times wanting to prove myself to them. But I'm like, wait, 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 I don't have to. I am enough. You are enough. You're a child of God. I'm a child of God. Those people who you want to prove yourself to, you're, they're children of God. Guess what? He loves all of us. And all of us are enough just the way we are. You are worthy. You are enough. Now, I want you to pay attention to your thinking because that is where the burnout is coming from. Especially pay attention to your absolute thinking. Those thoughts like no one, everyone, I have to, always, never, everything. Watch out for those. Be willing to question them. And be willing to feel your feelings. Allow them. Stop fighting them. Take a minute. Get tuned into your body. Ask yourself, where am I feeling this in my body? Maybe ask yourself, hey, sweetie, what's going on? Do you need to take a break? Do you need to not? Maybe tonight the kids don't go to soccer. It'll be okay, I promise. Maybe tonight you take a hot bath instead. Or you watch a movie. You watch a movie with your kids and you cuddle on the couch. It's all going to be okay. What if we let go of the idea that we have to feel good all of the time? What if we let go of the idea that our kids have to do all of the activities? That we have to show up for everything? That we have to be everywhere? Do it all. What if we just let go of those thoughts and we just took the time to allow our emotions? Now, listen. If you're tired of feeling burnt out, why haven't you signed up for a free consult? Did you know I offer free 60 minute sessions where we meet together and we talk all about what is going on in your life, where you're struggling, and I give you pointers on how to get out of it. Isn't that amazing? Now, let me tell you, I'm different from your friends because you might tell me your story, but I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to show you where you're creating the burnout with your own thoughts, where you're creating, making life harder for yourself. I'm here to help you learn to love your perfectly imperfect life. So what are you waiting for? Sign up at mariastrangecoaching.com forward slash work with me. Are you ready? Let's do this. And as always, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram. I'd love to connect. So if you're not ready for a concept, that's totally fine. We can connect in other ways. If you need anything, reach out and have a great day. Bye.